Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the official review that was WWE Day 1. Holy crap, man, what a freaking insane ending. We will talk about it, man. We're not going to waste any time. First things first, remember to subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 500 subs. We're about two subs away, man. So if you like what we're doing on this channel, what I'm doing on this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like, and comment. Now, outside of the main event, and I'll even go and say it, the tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, overall, I thought this show was a solid show. Now, don't get me wrong. It wasn't a bad show whatsoever, but, you know, again, outside of those two matches I just mentioned, you know, it was just a solid show. It wasn't a bad show, but it wasn't a great, an amazing 10-star show, if that makes sense. We kick things off, man, with the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. By the way, Roman Reigns was supposed to defend his title tonight, but like I like it was claimed early tonight due to the you know what, Roman could not compete tonight. And of course, Brock was inserted into the Fatal Five Way match. Well, the Fatal Four Way match. But we kick things off with the Usos and the New Day in a tag team match player. Man, this gave me some nostalgic, just like old times, man. I said it before and I said it again. The Usos and the New Day is a tag team that I can watch over and over again and just not get bored. The Usos and the New Day went all out tonight, man. And even the finish, man. Like, the finish was really good, dude. With the 3D or the 1D or whatever you want to call it. But, man, that was really cool. Really, really cool. The Usos retained the titles. You know Roman Reigns. Despite what went down today, you know, he had a big smile on his face with his cousins, the Usos, retaining the belts. Next, we had Drew McIntyre defeating Mad Cat Moss. And, you know, I, I said a lot about this, you know, is I didn't really care for the feud, to be honest with you. The feud felt filler to me. But match, regardless, this was actually a solid match. Yeah, shockingly, that this was actually a so shock solid match. Mad Cat Moss was pretty solid. And of course, Drew, we all know how great Drew is. You know, I, I can go in on Drew, but you know what I mean? But <laughs> Drew gets the win. L later on in the night, Drew is getting interviewed. He's like, Mad Cat Moss, I'll admit it. You got, you got guts, kid, but I want you, Corbin. And Corbin and Mad Cat Moss attacks him. And Corbin pretty much commits murder on McIntyre so who knows maybe we might not see McIntyre all the way up until the rumble you know get a few weeks off get some time off who knows what this does but man dude that was insane that backstage assault on the Drew next we had a tag team match player for the Raw Tag Team Championships RK Bro which by the way uh the Migos the quote-unquote greatest hip-hop like the greatest group in the world which is ridiculous because Migos is not even... I don't listen to a lot of Migos. I will admit, Ric Flair Drip is a dope song. I like that song. But uh, yeah, they came out tonight. RK Bro and the Street Profits went went at it tonight. The finish was really good, man, with uh, Matt Riddle. Well, Riddle helping up Randy with the RK Bro, setting him up. That was really cool. Um, the post-match celebration was a little bit too long. I didn't think they needed to be in the ring for that long. They could have just gotten in the ring, celebrate just for a few minutes, and then leave. They, it, it, it was like they was in the ring for a whole hour, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, for the match, for the most part, it was a solid match. You know, Street Profits are good, and RK Bro, they're pretty good as well. So, this wasn't bad, but, you know, it wasn't match of the night. Edge defeating Miz, um... We saw the return of Beth Phoenix. She came out to the ring, you know, going after Maurice. And with that, Edge was able to spear the Miz. Crazy entrance with the brood with Edge. That was a cool entrance, as always. Uh, for the most part, I thought this match was solid. It wasn't a bad match. I know there were people saying, oh, this is so bad. Like, Miz and Edge has terrible chemistry. But for me, I thought Edge was and Miz was solid. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great by any means. And, you know, it, it was there. It was there. So I'm curious to see what they do from Edge. Again, they could set up a AJ and Edge at the Rumble, but we'll have to see what happens. So, yeah. As far as The Miz goes, I don't know what The Miz is going to do. Um, He could enter the U.S. title picture. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Becky Lynch defeating Liv Morgan. This match, I felt like, was solid. Um... I'm, yeah, it was pretty solid. I mean, what else can I say? You know, there were times where it felt like Lynch. Oh, well, 
yeah, Liv. Speaking of Liv, my goodness, like this, uh, this is a small nitpick with Liv Morgan. Did she have to scream so many times into the match? I'm like, I'm like, girl, like I get you're all like jitter, or you're you're trying to win the title, but you know you're screaming is not going to help you win the championship, and it certainly didn't tonight because she lost. So, what does this lead to next? We'll see what happens. Hopefully, they're able to still keep Liv and what they're doing. Becky, who knows who Becky? She could defend the title against Asuka, but they they did Becky and Asuka. And we don't, because we don't know when Oscar's coming back. And if she does come back, we, we've seen that at the Rumble like three plus years. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. And now the main event, baby. Big E versus Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens versus Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. Fatal Five went for the WWE title. You know, it sucks because tonight Roman Reigns wasn't here. It really does. And again, well wishes to him. But... Boy, oh boy, guys, this is day one of the new year. This match, and I don't care what no one says, this match is already most likely going to get, most definitely going to be in my top 10 by the end of the year. I don't know what the rest of the years look like, but so far, this is the best match of the year out, WWE. Dude, nonstop action, no breaks, no stops, no pit stops, no none. Spear through the barricade, the table, just Four, five guys going out there tonight. And in the end, Brock Lesnar wins the WWE Championship, which unfortunately ends the decent reign. That was Big E. Yes, I will say it. It was a decent reign. Could have been better, but it was what it was. I don't think... It, obviously, it seemed like they weren't going to give Big E a lengthy title reign, which is, oh, you know, it's just, eh. At least Big E winning the title and at least Big E being champ was a cool moment. So this will probably lead to Big E versus Brock at the Rumble. Um, I don't know what this leads for Roman and Brock, you know, WrestleMania title unification match. I don't know because we've seen that match in Mania. Do you really want to see that match again? So I don't know what they're going to do. But uh, like I said, man, for the most part, this was a solid show. Brock Lesnar wins the WWE title. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling with your WWE Day 1 review and so on. Yeah.